You're looking prettier at every rise of the sun. Chokebu, what is it? You have started again, no? Oh? Why won't I start again? Hmm? I, I will continue disturbing you until you accept to marry me. Yes. Me? Mm, marry you? Wait, 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 am I not man enough? It's okay, Bu. I can't marry you. For one, you're a married man. And I can't be a second wife. Okay, okay, okay. Let me tell you. The moment you accept to marry me, eh, I will suck that uh, unkoto unkoto woman for your sake. Eh, hey, 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 hey. is that my problem, Mo? My problem is that you don't have money. You're a poor man. You don't have anything. You don't have cars. Not even one cheap. Please come marry a poor man. Eh? Hey? Please, excuse me. Rose, Rose, come, come, Rose. What is it? Are you cable? Is you cable? You poor man. What? What? What's a? What an embarrassment! What a disgrace! Such an insult! A poor man. Okay. All right. Friends, sir. You are doing your thing, eh? <laughs> what do mango do, eh? <laughs> you are welcome, sir. Hey! Okay. I have to come down to the house. Eh, hey, Nana. Every time you finish, what are you doing? Eh, hey. hey. okay, I will be there. <laughs> Thank you, sir. You came back. You are welcome. How are you? Fine, sir. Okay. You are brother Chivokoku is back. Back from where? From the city. Are you sure of what you're saying? I saw him today with him, but mommy came back. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. I will be there. Okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, so who is that? Children, uh, uh, I came with uh, my wife and uh, he came back. Okay, okay. Tina is uh, still in school, they are doing exams, uh -huh. and uh, Obina is staying back to collect her after exams. Uh -huh. yes, <laughs> Welcome, thank you. We've come home finally to settle, to settle for good. Uh, what do you mean for good? The yes, city life is beginning to affect me. Yeah. Yes. I want to come and settle down. It's okay, my okay. ah! Our wife, oh, look at the he came back. <laughs> hey! It's okay, he came back. Son of Uga. The son of his father. Lion of Uga. Ah! You're welcome, man. Eh? You're welcome. Hey! Let me get you something to drink. Okay, okay. Uh, that's wonderful. 
Uh, it must be something strong and hot. That's okay. I'm excited. It's okay. I'm very happy. It's okay, Chair. Ah! Let me get it for you. Be careful. The life of Uga. Uga down there. Uga down there. So, as I was uh, telling you, uh, yeah. I've come home finally. Ah, that's... Who can handle business when I'm not there? Hmm. So, I'll be going to town from time to time. Eh, well, see. <laughs> but let me ask you again. You see, yeah, yeah, they are all there. They are there. Suffering as fine. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm not come home. <laughs> hey, you're welcome. You're welcome. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Uh, you see, my sister, I I was very very happy when I heard that you people have uh, relocated to the village. Thank you very much, Pastor. You see, the Lord God has been so wonderful to us. Mm, we decided to come back to the village to rest. At least that will give us an opportunity to concentrate more on developing the house of God here in the village. I thank God so much for you and your family. Thank I you. thank God. Thank you, Pastor. Bless you be your name. Amen. Thank you for the wonderful work you've been doing in this very family. Father, I know you still have so many things you want to surprise them with. Jesus name. <sighs> Mama, I came back. Yes, I sent for you because of uh, this revelation I had last night concerning you and your family. You see, the Lord has asked me to tell you to go into a three-day dry fasting and prayer. You see, danger looms around you and your family. God forbid, Pastor. So you have to start immediately. Pastor, who could be planning evil against I and my family? We have been so kind to them. My husband has been so nice to the people. Oh, who could be planning evil for us? Well, uh, that was not revealed to me. But all the same, that is not important. What is more important is that the Lord has revealed it. Showing that he is interested in delivering you and your family. So you have to listen to him. If I guess my family. No. Pastor, thank you very much. I think I must be on my way. God be with you. God be with you. Thank you. All is well, eh? No. This night, all full grown males of this village must pay ten men. <laughs> I never see it. Oh, 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 that's wonderful. It's very wonderful. <laughs> What project have you been thinking about? This is just a way to siphon money from my father. You always do it all the time and it's very bad. Brother, I don't like the way you can buy Why would you like the way I'm talking to you, Uncle Luke? Why? Tell me. Because you know I'm telling the truth. I know your plans, but believe me, you, you, that, that, that miracle will not happen to you today. Brother, the way he's talking to me, a title, and I think it's, it's, it's all to me. Papa, I know this very much I do. But you see, we all know the truth. 
And all the time, we hate to admit it. I mean, just three weeks ago, you gave Uncle Luke Abel 200,000 naira. Two weeks ago, you gave him 300,000 naira for two different projects, right? Just last week, you gave him 150,000 naira for three different projects. Where are the head and tails of all those? He has said nothing yet to us about those, uh, those money. He has done nothing yet and he wants to take another one. I mean, is that fair? Is that proper? It's not nice now. It's okay. What my son, aka my son, to say is that you have to explain to your brother the kind of business you want to engage in so that he can advise you on how to go about it since he's more experienced and knowledgeable in business than you are. What I'm That's talking it. about is just a project I think I can take care of. Blue cake, but how could you possibly take good care of any project? I mean, three projects down the drain. We've not heard anything from you and you want to get another one. Um, Ikemba, I don't want to hear your voice again. Papa, he needs to know the truth. I Let's... say shut up. I don't want to hear your voice again. I think... After all, please. Just like that, you want to finish your drink? Ah, no, it doesn't matter. It just occurred to me that I have to meet up with an appointment, please. I have a going. Oh. I promise you next week. Our Uncle Luke is not the kind of person you should trust. You should stay away from him. Be very careful of him. Why should you talk to my brother like that? You open your mouth to say that kind of thing to him. I just say the way it is, Dad. That's all. Could it be Mommy Kemba who tells my brother not to give him money? Could this be the reason why each time I ask for money from my brother, he says I will discuss my wife first? If this woman is planning to take all my brother's heart and money to her people, I won't allow it work. As for Ikemba, I'll find out a way to deal with him. instructed me to do. What is it? He said I should fast and pray for three days, but I forgot. When was that? That was three days ago. It's not too late. You can start off tomorrow morning. No worries about it.
Goma. Come, let's talk. Prince, please, Lama Gom, go it. I said you should stop what you're carrying here. What the fuck? What do you want from me now? Ugoma, should I keep repeating this all the time? Alright, let me say it again. I want to marry you. Ugoma, I'm here to find out exactly why you keep refusing my proposal. Anyway, we can't talk about that here now. Let's go back to your house. No, please, there's no need to go to my house. I have my reasons here. You have your reasons? All right. Prince Onyeka will give you a chance. So, let's hear them. Prince, you dehumanized me at 14. You molested me. I went to seek for justice in your father's house, and him and his indigenous, they threw me out. They gave me injustice. <laughs> that thought and experience still lingers in me. <laughs> now, do you expect me to marry a man who caused me so much pain? I cannot marry you. I can't marry you because you're the source of my vex. <laughs> Is that all? No, no, no. Go ahead. Go ahead. Say it. I'm enjoying it. <laughs> so, that's all. Have you finished? Ugoma. Now, listen to me. I'm not here to beg you again. No! But I, Prince Monique, has never failed to get any of his wishes. He's on record. And nobody, I repeat, nobody in this community will ever stop me. From here, you go to my house. And you stay here until all the marital rights for our union will be completed. Prince, I'm, I can't go to. I can't go to your house. I can't marry you. From here. That you're my wife. And nobody, nobody will ever stop me. I said, move on into the guys. Where you going? Get up! Move on into the car. Get it, son. He said, where you going? Leave me alone, please. Okay. Did you get that fool? Get out of here. Say she got this fool. I beg your pardon. You call me a fool? For what? She's not going anywhere. Get him off! Get him off! You're not going anywhere. Please, Come back! Please, Come back here! Leave me alone! Ah. 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 Oh. Ah. Ah. Take a stand up and beat him off!
Chicky, your highness. What happened to my son? Your, your highness, he, he was beaten up by, by one young man. Chicky, your highness. What devil beat up my son? Right in your face, and you fool! Your highness, I, I tried my best. Your highness, see my face. See my face, your highness. Even, even my hands. The young man fought like a liar, your and who is the devil? Who is that devil who is a young man? Who is that devil, young man? Your Highness. He's not his incapable. Son of Chief Okonkwo. Your Highness, I won't forgive him. That's my brother's son. Please, what did you do to, do to him? Nothing. What he did is immaterial here, okay? I am the lion of Ogun. No one. I repeat, no one does this type of thing to my son and gets away with it. God, I want that man, that young boy, whatever he is, the devil himself, bring him to this palace now. Chicken! You are relieved of your duties as a palace guard. Your Highness. Get out of my sight! Get out! Go! Get out! The Wallace. The Ibe, I don't know. Ibe, is it true that somebody beat up a prince of Ogala? Jay, Ohio. Ohio, sir. Are you the devil that had the guts to lay your filthy fingers on my son? Well, your highness, I saw your son uh, maltreating an innocent maiden with his guard. And when I confronted him and I asked him why he was doing so, your son lacked the courtesy to answer my question like a gentleman. Shut up! A prince of God does not owe any God in such courtesy. Well, your Highness, the innocent maiden deserves some honorable treatment and respect, don't you think? Do you know what you've just done? Yes, your Highness, I do. I mean, I've taught a prince how to conduct himself in public, especially before women. You bother, sir? You bother, sir? Uh, uh, their father just brought them home for this indeed. He doesn't know tradition yet. Uh, probably the death of his mother uh, has caused him loss of sense of reason, please. Uncle Okeebo. Tradition or uh, no tradition, no man has a right to treat a woman the way the prince and his guard did. And I'm absolutely disappointed that nobody here is condemning the act. Just get off your mouth! You know, I actually followed the guards here because I thought I would have the opportunity to get your highness, speak to his son, and curtail his excesses. But apparently what I see here is a like father, like son situation. Hey, what I know, sir? Well, your highness, and each is. If I'm disrespectful in any way, I'm sorry. I have to take my leave. Have a nice day. You are losing. Guys! Bring that devil back here! You are losing. You are losing. Hey! You get back. You get back. Something must be done about this. I'm not taking it too. You wallow, sir. You wallow, sir. Up the Prince of Ogun. What? 
he came by beat up the place of Fuka. He was summoned by Igwe and council members. He came there and behaved like an uncultured alien right before the council members. In fact, he made outrageous statements and eventually walked out on all of them. What? My own son? He came and walked out on the council. Well, I This nonsense, I will stop him today. I'm going to cut him off. Today, today, he came back. He came back. He came back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What have I done to him to deserve all this shame? To deserve all this shame and embarrassment? What have I not done for him? Just exhibiting youthful exuberance. It's nonsense. This year alone, he has beaten up more than 15 persons. Wow, eh? 15 people. Is this what you call youthful exuberance? This is outright madness. Hey. You know what happens, eh? You call him later, talk to him. You're a father. Let's hope he will change. I believe he will change. But the pressing matter at the moment now is. The fine imposed on him by council members, it will expire in two days' time. He was fine. He was fine. Two big goods, then ten tubers of him. He was fine. How much? Uh, Fifty thousand naira. Fifty thousand. Okay, please come back tomorrow morning. The situation was so embarrassing, in fact, he we almost banished him from the entire Oka. But for my intervention and for the tremendous respect he has for you. So I'll come back to you. Please. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Being made to pay a fine of 15,000 naira because of your tactlessness. How do you explain this abuse again this month? Papa, the girl said that the prince molested her, and that is a crime before God and man. Nobody, no, not even the, the, the royal council, did anything about it. Papa, you're a true believer. You know these things. Molestation is a grievous sin. So you should be thanking me for making the prince realize this. You think you're the wiser than those others who did nothing? Well, someone has to rise in defense of such people, and that's what I did. By beating up the prince of Uga and insulting the royal council. Papa, the prince of Uga derobed himself of honor and dignity when he molested that girl several years back. Now, if someone had called him to order at the time, he wouldn't have tried humiliating that girl again today. As regards the royal council, they do not deserve my respect. You know why? Because they are shameless and partial. That's why. Papa, I'm really sorry you don't like this. I am truly sorry, but I'll tell you one thing for certain. That prince will have you rethink the next time he tries to act irresponsibly. Yes. You can run. Sit down. Sure, the Prince of Uga will have had a rethink. 
if you have spoken to his conscience, I'm not beating him up. Papa, such people only hear with their skin, not with their conscience, because they have no conscience. Everyone has conscience. You better believe that. Fifteen times, fifteen times this year you have fought. Fifteen times. And this doesn't tell a good story about you and your family. You must learn to act with your brain instead of your fist. And you seem to forget we're a Christian family. We are known for our uprightness and not brutality. You better get this into your head. Very well, Papa. I've heard you. But I will stop behaving upright when people stop treating others unjustly. Thank you for the advice, Lord. on my behalf and, and save my life. Like I told you, for a very long, long time, the prince has been on my neck, harassing me here and there, molesting me. But there was nobody there for me. Nobody could fight for me. But not until you came along. And I know that from now on, you will never have the guts to come to me anymore. It's okay. I mean, you know, I, I just want to assure you, you know, that as long as I'm in this village, no harm will ever come to you. Thank you very much. So tell me, what, what do you do? Well, I just finished my SSC exam. But I'm lucky I got the scholarship to study in Beijing University. Really? Wow. That's good. Beijing? Mm. So what are you studying? Law. Law. No. <laughs> you must be a very brilliant girl then. Wow. I'm gonna miss you. I'll, I'll miss you too. Really? Yes, of course. <laughs> you saved my life, remember? I really appreciate it. I'm grateful. Oh, promise me. You'll be good. And you'll stay in touch. I promise uh, I'll be a good girl. And I'll keep in touch. And I'll call you. Smooth, right? Yes, Papa. Uh, but would have been here earlier if not for Fuas Casting. Yes. Ah, that doesn't matter. The important thing is that you are home and safely too. Yes, eh? yes, Papa. You are back and the heart is going to be hot again. I'm so <laughs> <laughs> Papa. Yes. You have not congratulated me for coming first in my class. Really? Yes. Oh, you came first in your class? Yes, yes, Papa. Oh my god, I'm so happy. <laughs> <laughs> now. Tell me what I'll give you for making this fit. Mm, what, what, what? Papa, 
some freedom to be going out and mixing up with my friends. Eh, hey, what? <clears throat> to be now. Yes. That's all. Yes, Papa. Papa, not male friends. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> right, granted. Eh? Granted. <laughs> Thank you, Papa. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Are you okay? Ah, Jesus. Surprised. I found a great in the week for coming to a class. So I came to visit you. Hey, aren't I lucky you are visiting me first of all our friends? I always said you are the first. I need not to be told because I know I am the most beloved. And I can see you're going to fetch water. Oh, yes. See, the house is virtually empty and my parents and siblings all went to the farm. So, you just sit and wait for me, right? The public wall is just down the road. No, please get me a gallon so I can go and fetch water with you. Why did you start fetching water in this yoga? Do you want to break your neck? See, Ada, I'm tired of my brothers doing everything for me at home. And the other house was being done by the house girls. Please get me a container and let me go and fetch water with you and have the experience. But I just hope you won't come complaining of body aches. Busy body, get me another gun and let me go and fetch my I will not allow you to run for this unless you greet me very well. And I can leave me alone. I don't want to, uh, your trouble this afternoon. Leave me alone. <laughs> so I'm a troublemaker. Well, by the way, uh, why didn't I see you in my house yesterday? I've told you I'm not interested in what you are telling me. Who is he? He's all these village boys. He wants me to be his girlfriend. Can you imagine? His girlfriend. <laughs> What did you tell her? It is not your concern. Okay. Then I will not allow you to go and fetch water unless you tell me what you told your friend. Says you. Get back. How dare you push my friend? Are you silly boot? <laughs> Emeka, and, and you did nothing to him? It's alright, it's alright, stop crying, it's alright. So, let's just go and show me the guy. Well, if you must know, I have come to tell you 
that is not the right way to treat ladies. I will forgive you this time. You are a noisemaker. Noisemaker. Do you know who you're talking to? Or the person you just beat? Do you know? I don't want to know you. I don't want to know where you come from. Please get out of my sight. What? Look, I am warning you. Next time you try this, I am warning you. You will find the easy way. Don't think because you're in your house. Let's go. See. I warn you. If you don't come to my house tomorrow, I will show you the kind of person. Don't worry. I'm trying me. Okay. Don't worry. Oh, yes, sir. I've been looking for you guys since today. What? Jesus Christ. What happened to you? I expected a lot to go and fetch water, and a guy beat us up. Ah, no. A guy beat you up? That's a joke now. Oh, Bella, that's a joke, Nabi. Ross is true. Actually, I went to see the guy, and we were just coming from his place. You're just coming from the guy's place, and you're this neat? You don't understand, okay? What did you do to the boy that beat up your only sister like this, molested her like this? What did you do to him? But I, 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 I told him it wasn't a nice way to treat ladies. And I warned him, I warned him seriously not to try it again. Oh, you warned him seriously never to try it? Okay? Yes. That is what you did to the boy that molested your only sister like this, that beat her up like this? That's all you did? Obina! But you can't believe the way that boy spoke to Brother Bina. I walked away and he did nothing about it. Nothing. My dear sister, what can Akko do? What can Utara do? He's a fufu now. Fufu don't do anything to human beings. What's this boy's name? Where does he live? Uh, his name is Emeka. And his mother's name is his son. Okay, Mazi Udemezwe's son. I see. Don't worry, my sister. Go inside and clean yourself up, okay? I'll deal with the situation my own way, okay? Okay? Brother, see, I, if I hear any more word from your mouth, I will eat you like Akbo. Get inside! Know how to treat a goat. Get aside. Hey, me, yeah, me, I said my own. You kill somebody, you this boy will die here. Oh. I said my own. You kill somebody, you kill somebody. It's because you don't have a sister. That's why you're beating women up like this. If this girl was your sister, would you beat her like that? Please. Would you? Please, please do it for me. You be so wicked. You don't know how to treat a woman, Abi. I will teach you today. I was thinking you are my type. Stop and fight a fellow man. <laughs> please, please, please beg him for me now. I never knew you are his sister. Please beg him to release me now. Please. Hey, Chineke. <laughs> Put your hands up. Put your hands up. Open your eyes and look at this one. Look at this one. Go to be there for 24 hours. That's your punishment. Next time you'll learn how to do it. 
And I refuse. Hey! Be my children! Be my children! Be my children! Madam, listen. It's okay. Okay? Madam, don't cry, okay? Everything will be alright, okay? Just wait for me. Give me your bag. Madam, Madam. You know what? I am taking you to your husband's house. Don't worry about that one, okay? You have every right to stay under your own roof and raise your children. Unmolested. No one should molest you. Not at all. And I assure you that after today, nobody will disturb you again. Believe me. Eh? Just come with me. Come and show me the house. Okay? Come on, show me the house. Go. I brought them here. Why? I saw them on the road and they were crying. Uh -huh. All she asks is to live under her late husband's roof, to raise her children, the children of your own late blood brother. Please, allow them to live under the roof, please. This woman to live here. I am in charge of this compound. I decide what happens here and not her. And you don't come and tell me what I do in my own compound. And if I decide she's not staying here, and what about that? 
It's a we are all human beings. And nobody, no one knows when it's going to be his or her own turn to die. <sighs> Spare me that. You want to be a preacher? Or what? No, I'm not. I'm just explaining it to you that nobody knows. But this woman, she has the right to live under her late husband's roof. Okay? Let me tell you. Well, she is not staying in this compound. You hear me right? If she doesn't agree to be my second wife, I mean, didn't she tell you that that was the real bone of contention? She told me. Indeed, she told me. But you see, I believe, I strongly believe that you're being unfair to her. How dare you say such a thing? Let me tell you, I am only keeping with the tradition of our people. The tradition that is in support of molesting and maltreating a widow and her children, the way you're doing so to this woman, is only meant for swines. How? How dare you say such a thing in my face? Well, if it is what you feel strongly for her, what do you do now? You take her away and these children are from this camper. Do you understand? She is not staying here and what I decide is final. She has her own house. And, and this is her house. And all I am asking is for you to let her stay. House you are talking is my house. I'm in charge and I said it before I decide what happens. She is not staying here. You understand? Do you think that your father's wealth can make me to change my decision? Is that what you think? As you can see, you can look, take a look. In the doors, they are all locked. And young man, would you mind you don't have any other thing you have to tell me? What do you do? You quietly take them away from this compound. And before I come back, you people are out from this place. Stand in my way, How dare you? Give me the You came back. Or whoever you call yourself. Let me tell you. You are being fool! My fool! Let me tell you, if it were to be in those days, you ask questions. I was the greatest wrestler in this Oga club. If it were to be in those days that you dare stand in my face and say such abominable things in my face, I will strangle you in one breath. You got me right. And let me tell you, the keys are here. These are the keys. I am not handing you over these keys. Are you with me? These are the keys. You're daring. That's not you. These are the keys. <laughs> Stop her again. Ah, what I will do to you the next time is far ah, much more than this. Ah, you understand? Ah, huh? Ah, get up on ah, Get up. Ah, Go. Get up on ah, 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 must hear this. You must hear this. I will make sure you will be banished from this. I promise you. You will. I will. He came back. What? That rascal again in this Oga? Yes. He will, my body. He will. He threw me on the ground. Imagine me. He, will. he was punching me like a common man. 
Death will do. Hold it there. Hold it. Eh? The cause of beating you is not important here. You are a full crown here in Oga. He is a commoner like he came back. Throwing an Ichi on the ground. That is a taboo. Oh. It's an that is what is important here. It's an abomination. Guards! Who go and bring that rascal here? Take other youths if you must. I want him here now. Go! 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 Is asked you to come with us at once. For what purpose? He came back. You are wasting our time. But who wants us to apply force on you? You want to force me? <sighs> okay, don't worry. He hasn't come to that yet. I'm in trouble. Okay. I'm in trouble. What is it? My house! The rainstorm of last night has rendered me homeless. Not for me. Eh? Not for me. Hi! Oh. What happened? What actually happened? The entire roof of my house was blown off. But I had to sleep outside in that cold. Jesus. With all the rains. No, oh, Chief, I, I, I had no choice. What do you mean I had no choice? Okay, well, you had a choice. Which choice? My house is open to you. Eh? You merely had to go through this ordeal while I, your brother, am still alive. But Chief, I didn't mean to come to convenience you at your house. You're not inconveniencing us. Eh? The boy's quarter is there, empty. You can stay there. Eh? Chief, do you mean what you're saying? You stay in there outside and pay your house for you. My house is also known. You are welcome in Come with us, thanks. Come on.
taste by fire For every day, day my plan See the plan here to scatter The land of Uga We get men everywhere And they had they want it Just the way to be It is not the physical Don't talk about the spiritual It's back with the strength You want the drop You will get, get Back again Again, back again, just this by fire, fire, back again. Hey, back again. If I went to the palace, I told the Ugwe and this council of elders that I borrowed 50,000 naira from Ichi Kalo to take my dying wife to the hospital three months ago, using that piece of land as collateral. I also told them that my wife later died. And due to the expenses I made bearing her, I missed the repayment deadline of yesterday. But I gave you 50,000 naira earlier today to go and rec rec reclaim that land. Go straight to the point. What is the matter? Ichi Kano refused to accept the money, claiming that I defaulted in the repayment by one day. <laughs> that I have forfeited the land to him. It's impossible. Only one day elapsed. Is Igwe aware of it? Uh, Chief, I came here from the palace. The Igwe and his Indichi sided with Ichi Kano. Uh. Chief, that is the only land I have. And I want you to get it back from me, please. If Igwe and the council decided to back Carl, then there must be something there. I'm sorry there is nothing I can do. Chief, please help me. They are doing this to me because I am poor. Please. The only help I can give you is to let you keep that 50,000 naira. Perhaps you can use it to buy another piece of land. Chief, I will find no joy and honor in having ownership of any land other than this very particular land my father deputed to me. It is my honor as a man that is involved here, Chief. Well, I've said it. There's nothing else I can do. The Bible says that uh, vengeance belongs to God. So my advice to you is to pray hard. Pray, take your case to God. Thank you very much, Chief. I believe in place of Kalu, Ichi Kalu's house? Uh, it's not at home right now. It should be in the palace where they're having a meeting. Really? Good. Give me the money. Huh? Don't worry. Just trust me. Give me the money. Don't worry. Give me the money. I assure you, we're going to get back your land, okay? I promise you that, okay? We're going to the palace right away. Please don't go. Please don't go. Let him take the land. Let him take the land there. Eh? God, God will fight for me, please. Mazi, okay, Chuku, do not worry about it. Just trust me, okay? I will get you back your land. I assure you. I promise you. You want to come with me to the palace? That land is yours. 
He said, Whatever you're going to plant in that place is going to be fruitful. He said, It will happen in the Oh, yes. <laughs> Igwe! Indeed, yes. I quit you all. Your Highness, I am sorry to just barge in on you uninvited. Pardon me, but I'm here on behalf of uh, Masi Okechuku. I want you, please, beg of you to talk to Masi Kalo. To please accept the money that Masi Okechuku borrowed from him. And then let him give him back his land. Young man. So you think you are wiser than your father who has refused to come to this palace to plead for Ketuku in this case? No, Your Highness. Not at all. I am uh, only here as a concerned citizen of Uga to appeal to you to please reconsider your decisions based on humanitarian grounds. Shut up, young man! Who do you think you are? Military General? Masikalo, I am a free born son of Uga. And as such, I have the right to aim my view. He came back. Your Highness. That is a royal decision. Yes. And no one except me can have done it. I understand that, Your Highness. But I am on my knees. I'm begging you, Your Highness, please. Yes, Your Highness, please. Reconsider your decisions, please. I'm more than one. So, the answer is. No! You can now leave us. We are in a very important meeting here. Very well, Your Highness. But I'm sorry to say this. Masi Kalu will not have that land. The because it belongs to Masi Kalu. Masi Kalu. The wild ocean. Well, please take your hands off the land for peace today. Well, he came from whatever he could. That land is already mine. And for your information, my workers will be there tomorrow to clear that land for new planting season. Then I have no more words for you. Let my actions speak henceforth. <laughs> your Highness, in the chase. <laughs> Dalu. Have a nice day. Mm. Let me see you on that land so that I will teach you a lesson that you will never forget. But I don't wonder how this boy is spread. It beats my imagination. Uh, my, my, my brother Okonko doesn't have the same blood. It's seriously a surprise to me. <laughs> Always confrontational, very aggressive. I tell you. This is an emergency. It will not happen. Wow, that's it. That is true. Wow, that's it. The other day I was at our local Hebrew thrift store that's a couple blocks from the house here and I came across this old video cassette. Every once in a while I'll take a look at the VHS and if something pops out I might grab it and I thought this one was uh, kind of so random to be at a, a, a Jewish secondhand bookstore thrift store type thing I had to get it. And it's uh, titled Self-Loading and Unloading of Sodium Cyanide Trucks. Anyway, um, I haven't used a VCR in a long time. And I wanted to rip that VHS into the computer and post it. I thought it would be funny. Kind of a unique thing to have on the channel. 
And I had remembered that Chris and I picked up a couple of these um, JVC and this one's laying on its top. This is a JVC BR-S611U. Uh, and we both picked a couple of these up at the ham swap meet. They were real cheap. I think they were 10 bucks each. They're a commercial type uh, VHS, SVHS hi-fi deck for broadcast use. And I popped the thing in and checked it and it started playing and then I, I stopped it to hook it up to the computer and I went back and it wouldn't go into play. What it was doing is it would flash, it's got here, it's got a uh, diagnostic mod monitor thing. It would flash a code, error code 32. And I couldn't find any information online as to what that code really meant other than it's people with the same problem so I think I found the problem I'm gonna try and fix it and if it fixes it you'll see the video if it doesn't you won't so that's a mute point anyway there's a belt here that goes between this motor and this wheel that is the actual belt that pulls the tape out is the main mechanism belt and it was loose and I could I could pop the tape in and put it into play and the, dr the drive pulley would keep spinning it would pull the tape most of the way out and then it would reject and retract and spit the tape out and squirt a code 32 so I went to my local guy and I picked up a couple belts I guess I'm real lucky to have a local guy left that actually has stuff and the way I got to this thing, and I'm documenting this in case Chris ever has a problem with his, and I'm sure there's an easier way, but I took the E-clip off of here, and then you can push this bar out that's here, and you can kind of tilt this up. So here's my new belt, and you can see that what I've done is I've got this loose. I can't get it all the way out because that that bar will only push out to that point. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to work it and I'm going to get some grease on it, but there's not a whole lot I can do about that. I might just have to try and clean it. I'm going to work it over this and around this pulley. And then we'll pop it back together and see if it plays. There it is all back together. Uh, it's pretty challenging. You have to have patience to really uh, get this thing together like that. So now what I'll do is I'll drop this down. This uh, board hinges. It's really a very nicely made piece of equipment. I just, I just love commercial stuff. The big problem with VHS is the resolution is like 333 by 480 and people now are used to 1920 by 1080 so it's a 4 by 3 format 333 by 480 or 480 by 333 versus 1920 by 1080 so let's see if it works here we go let's see what happens here I got something. Come on, baby. See, there's the air code. Come on, spit it back out. Crap. All right. I hate VCRs. I have to crank it out by hand. Okay, one thing I've noticed about this thing is it is photosensitive. If you have a bright light shining on the top of it like I do here, it will do this. Let me... Uh, I need some way to black this out. Nope, still not happy.
Nope, still not happy. One thing irritating about this thing is that when you turn it on, the transport doesn't automatically rehome and set everything back. You got to start with it all in the right spot or else it won't work. Let me get back under there and rotate that wheel and see if I can get it in that right spot. All right, I got it to where it'll stay in without airing out. There we go. Nope. Air 06 this time. What the hell? Okay, that error was caused by the photosensitivity. I turned the light off. I'm almost totally dark here and we're working. And we got, let's see, what is this? Uh, video tracking and we got audio going there. All right, this thing does not have an RF output, so I'm fed from this thing into the Blonder Tongue modulator, then into the old RCA CTC28. So let's see if this works. Please don't eat my tape. Please. Nice noisy signal there, low resolution. Come on, today. Well, it acts like it's working. Oh yeah, here we go. Alright, this thing has got a date with the computer before something else goes wrong. Look at the smearing. Who knows if that's the TV or the, uh, the VCR. Who cares? Let's just rip it quick.